video I will show you my recipe for DIY beard oil. Now this is an oil as opposed to a balm which would be more of like a leave-in conditioner for a beard. This oil is designed to be used on the beard as well as the skin underneath it. So this is a good product to put on before bed, massage it into the skin and the beard and that's going to help soften up the beard. It has a nice fragrance. It's going to do good things for the hair growth there and it's going to protect the skin and prevent you from getting dandruff from dry flaky skin underneath your beard. You need to make sure that you take care of that skin as well and there are a few different things that I go over in this video on what to look for in the types of essential oils that you're going to use as well as the carrier oils that are going to do the bulk of the work in softening that beard and moisturizing that skin and making sure it's nice and healthy. If you want to see more tutorials like this one let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrina Ossity. Check out my podcast at mdxpods.com and if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below and make sure you click that like button. It really helps my videos get seen. You'll need to begin by picking your carrier oil. I highly recommend a cold pressed high quality castor oil. Argan oil is also great, especially for its softening that facial hair. Jojoba oil is a better option if you tend to suffer from breakouts more often. And of course, my favorite is sweet almond oil, although this one is higher in DHT inhibitors. So if you're a trans man or have a generally patchy beard, you may want to avoid this one, even though the jury's still out on that data. For this recipe, I'm using castor oil and sweet almond oil, as well as a high quality vitamin E oil, frankincense essential oil for a nice fragrance, as well as clove and peppermint for stimulation, and a dark glass bottle. Dark glass because that's going to protect your oils and keep them from spoiling in the sunlight with a dropper or a pump. And of course, something to measure with. Begin by adding two parts of your castor oil. I'm using a one ounce container, so I'm adding two tablespoons of this castor oil. It's a fantastic anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antibacterial oil. It's great at stimulating hair growth, and it's also a really great skin and hair moisturizer, so I highly recommend this oil for your face. Next, add one part of your sweet almond oil. This is a fantastic skin conditioner. It's a lot lighter than that castor oil and it's really close to most people's pH. It's also great for promoting hair growth. Next, add a few drops of vitamin E. I'm probably using about a half a teaspoon total of this vitamin E. Vitamin E has a laundry list of benefits as well as being an antioxidant. Next, you'll want to add your essential oils. For this one ounce of oil, I'm adding between 30 and 40 drops of essential oils, mostly frankincense and peppermint. If you use clove oil as one of your stimulating essential oils, I recommend no more than four drops per ounce of oil. Keep in mind that certain oils that are great for promoting hair growth on top of your head, like rosemary essential oil, are also DHT inhibitors, so if you're trans or have a patchy beard, have trouble growing out your beard, you may want to avoid those because even though there's no hard data yet, they could possibly be inhibiting your facial hair growth. Then just shake that to combine it and your beard oil is completely finished. I love this recipe because it's so light on the skin, it absorbs extremely quickly, and it also smells great. You can of course use whichever types of essential oils are your favorite. I personally love sandalwood for this one, but of course go with whatever your preference is. Just make sure you don't use any citrus essential oils for this because they could cause your skin to become photosensitive. And of course you'll want to research any essential oils before you try them. And as you can see, it absorbs into the skin super quickly. It does great things for your hair. I recommend that you massage this into the beard for about 30 to 60 seconds before bed and give it some time to soak in and work its magic overnight. And that is the finished product. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, please click that like button. It really helps my videos get seen. Mm -hmm.